All right, let's talk about the origin. All right, so there's uh, at least the fastest way I would say is right click set origin. That's how you change it. That's how you change the origin or pale point. So if you hear me talking about pale point, it's basically the origin. So it's, it's the same thing. Or you can just go to here to object menu, set origin, same thing. Or you can just press F3, origin, and you have, you know, same thing here. You can just search it and it's gonna find it for you, okay? So it's a, there's a few ways to change it. Change the origin or the pill point of an object, you know. Usually when you add a new object, the pill point is gonna be right in the center of the mesh. Any object, whatever you add, it's gonna be right there, okay? This has information. Like right here, there's a location right here. That's the location of the object itself. So if if I add an object right there, it's gonna have that information of that location exactly in the 3D viewer or in the 3D space. So if you wanna reset this, what do you think is gonna happen? I'm gonna put zero here, zero and zero. It's gonna go back to the center of the world. So if I add another cube, and I press Alt and G, look what's gonna happen. It's gonna basically reset the location to the center of the world, okay? You can also, let's say you're right here, but what if you wanna move only the 3D, the, the, you know, the, the pivot point and not the mesh? You can just press Control A, location, the mesh is still there, and the pivot point is right there in the center of the world. That's a way to do it, okay? Most of the time I like to have a pivot point or origin, you know, some in some part of the, of the mesh that is actually convenient for me. If I want to scale it or rotate it, you know, something that I can use, okay? So, all right, let's, uh, let's see how can we use this in our favor. So I'm gonna move the pivot point right there. Okay, and if I right click set origin and I select geometry to origin, it's gonna move the geometry where the origin is. Or origin to geometry, it's gonna move the, the, cur the pure, pure point to the mesh. So that's uh, actually super useful right there. Or like I showed you just now, you can just, like what I usually do, select a corner of or a vertice or whatever, shift S cursor to select it, and then origin to 3D cursor or right click origin to 3D cursor or object origin to 3D cursor right there. And that's how simple it is. Just move it around. And like I told you before, the, the favorites menu is super useful for you, so just use it. As soon as you open Blender, the Q letter it's gonna bring Q, uh, quick favorites. So that's actually, you know, and I, I think I showed you before, you can just uh, right click, add, uh, add to quick favorites, and it's gonna add it to the menu. Quick, um, press Q, and you can access from here. So any option, like whatever you see, a modifier, whatever it is, you can add it to that menu. Obviously, if you keep adding stuff, it's gonna be, you know, pretty big, so. You know that's uh that's up to you, right? And uh, that I think uh, well, oh wait 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 one more one more thing. There's another way for you to change the uh, the origin. And sometimes when you're doing some modeling, if you go to edit mode and you select the mesh and you're modeling, you're like okay I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna duplicate it, put it on blah blah blah, and then I'll do them some modeling or whatever. This is so great, this model right here is so amazing. Blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff. Get out of edit mode, the pivot point is gonna stay in place no matter where the mesh itself is. Like if you go in edit mode, if you move it, it's not going to affect the pivot point at all. It's still gonna be there. And this information right here belongs to the to the uh, to the pivot point. So it doesn't matter where you move this in, in edit mode, it's still not gonna change 
any of the transformation that you have in the origin. So let's have that in mind, you know? Okay. All right. I think that's, uh, that's all. That's all I wanted to show you about the uh, pivot point or uh, set origin in any object. That works for any object, by the way. All right. If you have any comments, just, you know, uh, leave a comment. If you have any questions or suggestions. And I hope you like it. All right. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.